y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be getting ready together today. You can see I have my skincare on. I've got my serum. I want to get ready and I have lots of new products to test with y'all. I have the new Jones Road powders I'm curious about. I have the new lip products from Lunar Beauty. I've got these eye paints from Half Magic and some new shades. Lots of newness. Lawless here in front of me, some Revlon. We're just going to get ready together. So my skincare is like sunken into my skin. I'm going to push my hair on my face. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we'll apply some makeup. <music> So a while ago, not that long ago, <laughs> we tried the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation, the Illuminance Foundation, and I'm still in the process of reviewing it. And I really like to test different primers and things when I'm trying new foundation. So since I do have oily skin, I'm 35, I'm living in the humid south where it is very hot, very humid. I'm going to pair it today with my Milk mattifying primer. I haven't used this primer with this foundation yet, but I do really like this primer. This is the Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer, and I thought it would be nice to try this with this Revlon foundation because when I've been wearing the Revlon, I've really, really been enjoying it, so I thought it would be nice to try it with a more mattifying primer. So I'm just going to put this on my skin, let it set for a minute, and then we will go in with our foundation. Now, my face is just a little bit lighter than my body, which is normal. I'm much better about protecting my face from the sun than the rest of my body. I try, but you know, I'm a lot better at my face and I'm back on my prescription retinols. So my face is like getting smooth, but I do have like a little bit of like peeling totally normal. What I'm going to do with this Revlon foundation is I've mixed two shades last time, 405 and 409, but I do have an olive undertone that leans warm. And I bought this foundation mixer. This is the Face Atelier Ultra Foundation Pro in the shade Olive. And this is a game changer. I've been using this for a little while now, but I haven't like I don't think I've shown y'all. So I sometimes just like pop it on the back of my hand and then mix it with my foundation. But what I'm going to do today is mix it on my little mixing palette. I just do some of the olive and then I'll drop my foundation in. If you find that foundation shades are just not your right undertone, you can always buy mixers. Like LA Girl has some, but I will say this is my favorite one that I found for olive. Now, if you're olive, but you're a lot lighter than me, I would suggest just like a, a lighter green mixer, but I'm gonna mix up my custom Revlon shade and we're gonna apply. Salem Cosmetics sent me one of their sponges and this is soft. Like this is one of the softest sponges I have used. I'm excited. We're gonna use this from Salem Cosmetics. Okay, so I zoomed y'all in even a little closer. I'm just pressing this foundation in with my sponge and you can see it really has a pretty glow to it without looking overly glowy. It looks healthy without being like shiny metallic finish. I've been liking it for a glowier option. I'm going to spend a little extra time pressing in my foundation because I do have those patches where it's my skin's kind of peeling a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my Natasha Denona concealer. I've been loving this concealer. I have already reviewed this on my channel. If you have not seen it yet, definitely check it out. I love it. I do want to use a concealer that's a little bit brightening. So I'm going to go in with this YN9 and I'm going to press this into my skin, but I always let my concealer set for a few minutes. I like it to warm up on my skin. I like to blend it in. I feel like I get a better blend, better coverage, all of that when I just let my concealer set for a few minutes. So I'm going to do that and push that in. And then I also want to use this from Give Beauty again. I've been testing this out, trying this, 
but I don't know if I love it yet. So I wanted to try it again, keep trying it again. We may have some first impressions in this video, second, third impressions, but the review is coming. I like to really test my products, try them for weeks. Like I, I want to make sure I get my full thoughts, especially on complexion products. So I always do follow up reviews. Usually I do those once a month or so, sometimes every couple of weeks. Sometimes products take me a week to review. Sometimes they take me like two months. So just subscribe if you want follow ups. Just know I never leave y'all at a first impression. I always follow up. Sometimes it just takes a while, you know, like I like to try things in different ways and really have my full thoughts. But a few more minutes of the concealer to set and then I'm going to blend. How many of y'all were telling me, yeah, Heather, let it set, but also like apply it to the other under eye. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, it's almost time to blend. And I looked and I'm like, I, I applied it to half of my face. Okay. Now, now, now I can actually let it set. I just love this concealer. I feel like it sinks into the skin. It looks so seamless. It gives me coverage. It's just so good. All right, we are blended. Let's try again the Give Beauty Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. Smokin' is the shade. I was like, is Pick It Up the shade? No, Smokin' is the shade. So we'll do creams first. So I'll go in I think this this was the one that was in the middle. So they're like two lighter than this and two deeper than this. So I just bought the one that was in the middle. Now the contour, the cream contour is definitely a cool tone. Whereas the bronzer is more of a bronze warm shade. And I just don't know that I'm obsessed with it. I don't know if it's a must have for me. So I'm gonna just press that in with my sponge. And overall, every time I use this, I just feel like it's okay. But like I said, I wanted to kind of try it again, see what I think. So let me do the other side of my face. I just, I, I feel like I have cream bronzers that I like better. I feel like I have powder bronzers that I like better, but I don't think it's bad, but I'm almost ready to review this one. I just kind of wanted to like try it again with y'all. Think my thoughts out loud, you know. So let me do the other side of the face. Okay, I want to put down a cream highlighter. So I'm going to go into my Adept Ketracel White Palette. I love this. I love this. I am going to go in with my highlighter duo from Unearthly later. So I want to start off with this shade right here and I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. This is a multi-chrome cream highlight. So I'm just going to press this to the top of my cheekbones and then I'm going to pounce it in with my sponge. But first, I'm just laying it down. These creams work well on top of a set face, like set with powder as well. But I usually put down all my creams and then all my powders on top. So I'm just going to press this in a bit with my sponge. And then we're going to test out this new Jones Road powder. Okay, Jones Road Beauty sent me their new tinted face powders. They sent me light and medium. So I want to try to set my under eye with these. I think I could probably use them all over the face, but I have another powder that I've been using for like the rest of my face. So we're just going to try this under the eyes. Wait. Okay, so I've got the shade light. I kind of tapped that powder into the top and I'm going to press it in with my puff. Now, we'll see. I have medium if light is too light, but I would kind of like to brighten up my under eyes today. So I'm going to take my little puff. I have my powder picked up and let's press it in. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. First impression, I'm not obsessed. Usually my powders, I feel like kind of perfects things. The tint on this one may be not for me. The tint, like, 
I don't know. It's looking weird and kind of dry here. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. On this other under eye, I'm gonna go in with my Huda Easy Bake Powder in the shade Banana Bread, and that way y'all can kind of see the difference. I feel like this is like, removed some of the coverage from my concealer. Mmm. Not loving. Okay, y'all let me know if you can see the difference. Here is the Jones Road and here is the Huda. Maybe I'm being too picky, but I feel like the Jones Road, I, I don't know. I feel like it took a little of the coverage from my concealer away. I feel like it's settling a little weird into these lines. Like, emphasizing a little bit more I just think this side looks a little more smooth and perfected with the Huda powder I think the tone on this this light might be a little off for me maybe it's the shade maybe I should have used a brush instead of the powder puff I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and set this eye as well with the Huda and I will try these Jones Road Beauty powders again and follow up with my thoughts. But my first impression is I don't love it. Okay, so I put my Huda powder over here, kind of set my forehead and all. Just like I lost coverage right here with my concealer. So now I just feel like not the happiest with my complexion like it it did it removed some coverage right there and I'm not happy about it but it's okay plus I, just, I feel like that powder's grabbing weird like it's grabbing weird to the side of my face I'm not happy I'm just looking a little bit like oh no I don't feel like this side of my face looks as good as this side but that's what happens when you test new makeup sometimes it doesn't always go the best it doesn't always go the best. That's okay. I'm going to buff in and kind of finish off the rest of my face with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Olive Sand. I found this powder at Camera Ready and I was like, ooh, 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 olive setting powder. So many people had good things to say about it. I just really like this powder. I'm going to just like buff this into my skin with this brush that they sent me from Jones Road Beauty. This I feel like is nice. Ooh, I picked up way too much powder. I just like, like having oily skin, I need to set my face. There we go. I just had to tap off the excess. I have to set my face, but I always look for a powder that's going to like give me a nice finish and I'll kind of just like buff like this and it'll just come together so nicely i like using a powder to kind of finish things off something with just a little bit of tint to give my skin some life okay i feel like my face is coming together we're gonna bronze up with the powder from our give beauty and then i will fill in my brows okay so i'm gonna bronze with my 107 from bk beauty there we go. Oh, I love a bronzer. Kind of starts to pull a look together. I'm just using this kind of bigger fluffy brush because I just really want to bronze and look sun-kissed. And then I will fill in my brows and we will do our eye look together because I bought the new complex palette from Unearthly and my order is here. Half Magic sent me their new eye paints. So I'm gonna play with that. And then maybe we'll pull in some mattes from my palette with Unearthly. And we'll just kind of play. Okay, let's talk about some of this new stuff that I have. First of all, Half Magic sent me some of their stuff. And I love Half Magic. I bought so much stuff when they launched. It's a fun brand. They sent me some of their new shades. They sent me two of their shimmers and four of their mattes and a little brush. But they sent this. Do you see this? It's a little fan. It's $12. It has the logo. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Wear your heart on your face. You can see this? Wear your heart on your face? Are you kidding me? To like dry your makeup? Half 
magic. I'm gonna use this. They sent it to use with the eye paints to help them to dry down faster. <laughs> I was just like overly pleased with that. So I have a green, I have a purpley shade, I have a more cool tone purple, and I have a, another green that's a little bit darker. So I thought we could use that as like a base for shadows today. I also have two shimmery shades, a purple and a blue. And then I went online and I bought the Unearthly Complex palette. This is Eyeshadows and Pressed Pigments, and I believe this is five multichromes and one metallic. So the silver is the metallic, and then these are the multichromes. Let me see, let me show you if I can like a video and then I'll also like try to pop up some swatches. I haven't swatched it yet, but I will. I will so that you can see like on my iPhone trying to capture the shifts, that kind of stuff. I bought this, so I thought maybe that would be fun to put over the Half Magic matte eye paints. I thought that could be fun. So I'm still testing my Bella Beauté Bar Shimmer Stay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm really enjoying that. I wanna play with that again. I have, um, I bought this Danessa Myricks Beauty Line Work Onyx Paint Brush Fluid Eyeliner. And we'll just use mattes from my collaboration with Unearthly. This is available as we speak. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. But I want to use the mattes from there. I want to create another look. I thought it would be fun to use my mattes to mix with this other stuff. So I am going to put down my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to put down my whatever I can find, Sigma or MAC. Whichever one jumps out to me first, that's what I'm going to put down. Okay, so I found my MAC paint pot in Lay and Low. I'm picking up the matte red called Ancient on this brush from my Sigma Favorite set. And I'm going to put this all in my socket up above, buffing, blending all, all in here, all right here. I'm also going to go ahead and put the red on the lower lash line. Again, another brush from my Sigma set. I do my best to link brushes for y'all when I can, but right now I'm just getting the red down. I want it to kind of come all around my eye. Okay, so I have the red on and I used Ancient. Now I'm going to go into Nymph from my palette and I'm going to use this just to kind of buff and blend out this red so we kind of have this pretty fade from this vibrant what I describe as really oxygenated arterial blood to this pretty pink shade okay so I just buffed the pink kind of all around the last shade I'm going to use from my palette is going to be beetle my matte black with the purple and green sparkle and then we're gonna go in with our Half Magic Beauty shadows. So this is gonna stay in the outer corner, kind of a little bit lower, but I want this depth and darkness out here. So I'm just gonna pop that here with another one of my Sigma brushes, making sure I'm careful not to let the black like overtake our whole look. Okay, so I'm gonna put down the Half Magic Chroma Addiction Crown Please Eye Paint and Liner. And then we're gonna cover it with a shade from the Complex Palette. I will say this Complex Palette, it's not a topper formula. Like it's very opaque. So we'll definitely use these eye paints some more from Half Magic, but I wanna put it down, let you see how it looks kind of like if you were just to use this. And then I'll cover it with the shadow because you're definitely not going to be able to see this once I uh, once I cover it up with the shadow from Complex. So I'm just going to kind of like dot this on my lid like this. And then I will kind of blend with the brush. But this is a really pretty purpley color. Okay, this is an unearthly brush and I'm just going to kind of blend this. So if you wanted to put like a more sheer sparkle on top of this, you could. You want to use it on its own, you can do that. I will say when it comes to like liquid shadows, Half Magic makes some of my favorite. I'm pretty picky with my deep set eyes. I just, I, I'm really picky when it comes to my liquid shadows. I'm going to use the fan to dry it. 
Um, and my eyelids are oily, so I'll, I'll crease. Like, if something's wrong, I'll crease. But these from Half Magic don't crease on me. They look beautiful, and I love using them as colored bases under shadows or on their own. But usually, I want to sparkle, so I'm most, most of the time, I'm putting sparkle on top. Okay, I want to use Complex, and I think what we'll do is go in with Perplexing. So, can you see, you saw right there, right? Like, it goes from this purple, like, red, and then when you look, if you look at the shadow, you look in the mirror, you see it goes to this yellow gold to this green. Like, that is a really strong shift. Like, see it there? It's going kind of orange, and then wha-bam, it's like this green color. I think that's going to be really pretty with the reds and the pinks and the blacks that I have going on on my eyes. So, let me grab a brush. And we'll use perplexing okay so I've got that shade perplexing on my Sigma brush I sprayed my brush just a little to help minimize fallout and give me a ton of impact that is so pretty oh that's so pretty so when I look straight on it looks to be this beautiful fuchsia color very smooth very very pretty oh wow I like that okay look in the mirror look at it look at it look at it look at it in the mirror that's so different <sighs> listen you want to make me happy give me a shifty shiny shadow and I'm happy okay that's pretty I hope y'all enjoyed seeing it in the mirror that was fun but for the inner corner I was thinking of going back to my palette with Unearthly and doing something, but let's do one of these shimmers from Half Magic. This is the Chroma Addiction Baby Bunny Eye Paint and Liner. So it looks like it's a purpley pink shade. I think this is going to be really pretty. So I'm going to pick it up and actually let me get a little brush. Okay, this is a BK Beauty 209. So I'm going to pop this right there on the inner corner. See how pretty that is? That's shiny. That has really pretty like reflex to it. Definitely liquidy. So I'm gonna kind of press this in with my brush. I actually probably put on too much so I can kind of wipe my brush off on my Sigma switch and just kind of buff this in. Okay, I'm going to put on eyeliner, I'm going to put on mascara and a lash, and I will be right back. We'll do blush, we'll do highlighter, we'll do lip setting spray, all of that together. But I really, really like how the eye look has come together. I think so pretty. I'm so feeling this look. Okay, y'all, here is the eye look. I did use the Danessa Myricks Liquid Liner. I've been using this for a little while now, and I think it's nice, but I don't know that it's, for me, worth the high-end price point. I don't know if it's any better than, like, my next liquid liner, but still in the process of testing it and reviewing it. I put a little bit of black liquid not liquid liner, black liner from Melt in the Waterline, threw on my mascara, and then I'm trying these Doe lashes. These were sent to me from Doe. They're very, like, light lashes. Very easy to apply, very pretty, not super long, not super thick. A very, like, light lash. This is in the style of Fairy Dust. And it says, yeah, it's a weightless lash that feels like a natural extension of you. They were easy to apply. I think they look cute. So that's where I look. I'm into it. Let's do pink blush. Let's do this one from Lawless. I'm going to grab my uh, BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507 brush and pop this right on the cheeks to blush myself up blush myself up that's pretty that gave me a pretty a pretty pinky flush did I say lawless sent me this this is the make me blush velvet blush in the shade watermelon I was actually planning to purchase this it was in my Sephora cart because I do get some packages from lawless but I don't get all of them 
And this blush seemed like such a me color. I think this is pretty. It has a little bit of like a sparkle to it, but the sparkle comes across more of a glow on the cheeks. This that you're seeing right here, this is that Adept Cream Highlighter we put down. So if you were curious about this Lawless Blush, but you were like, oh, it looks like it has a little bit of shimmer to it, it just comes across really glowy on the cheeks and not like sparkly. But we are gonna add some sparkle now. I'm grabbing my Resurgence Highlighter Duo that I did in collaboration with Unearthly Cosmetics. And these are like multi-chrome shifty highlighters you see in the mirror. You see, sparkly, beautiful, beautiful on everyone. I am going to use Rebirth though, and I'm gonna put that on top of where I put down my Adept Cream. I'm gonna put on the nose and the Cupid's bow. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my BK Beauty A503, and I'm going for the smaller brush because I do want to have a little more control. I think this is technically an eyeshadow brush, but it's big and fluffy, and I think perfect perfect for the cheeks i i want to say like i love this shade of course i love it it's mine it literally has my name on it gonna highlight the nose and the cupid's bow okay i want to use a setting spray to kind of mesh it all together and i'm gonna draw my setting spray with my little half magic fan wait a minute wait a minute there we go i was like wait a minute is it not working no it's working there go the lights oh it's so cute okay but i'm gonna use my beauty blender boost four in one firming peptide setting spray i'm gonna spray my face with this i'm still testing and reviewing this sets makeup plumps skin blurs pores reduces shine I think it sets the makeup well. Everything else I'm still testing and trying, okay? But I do think it kind of sets everything well. It kind of like takes away that powdery layer, just makes you look like a little refreshed and you know, all of that after makeup. I always like to go on with the spray and today we're using Beauty Blenders. This setting spray, do you see how it kind of made everything mesh? together a bit maybe I just look a little more glowy in a nice way and not like a too oily way it does have a scent it has like a pleasant scent I don't know what scent it is I don't want to say fruity it's not floral I don't know what this scent is I feel like somebody else could smell it and they would know exactly they would be like this is the scent and I would be like yes it's not fruit snacks but it it, it's, it does have a scent but then the scent does go away once the setting spray is like on and dry. But just something to note, I kind of like when makeup has a pleasant scent. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I kind of I kind of like that. So for lips, what we're gonna do is test out the new Lunar Beauty lipsticks and lip liners. I have been wearing these. I really enjoy them. Lunar Beauty sent me the full collection. I do have an affiliate code with Lunar Beauty. It's Heather. If I had any codes about with any of these brands, I'll put them in the description box. Pop them up on the screen for y'all. You don't have to use them. I like to throw them out there for you in case you would like. I love Lunar Beauty though. If Lunar Beauty didn't send me the full collection, I was going to buy them all. But today, we're going to use the lipstick in Mystic and the lip liner in Snack. So this is their lip pencil. This is their lipstick. And these are matte, right? They are matte. Let me see how they describe them. These, well, I don't, creamy matte. Creamy matte. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely a creamy matte. So let's, let's lip line with Mystic and let's put the lipstick on and then we'll gloss on top. Okay, so these are sharpenable lip pencils. So even though they look like this, sharpen them. I know I've told this story on my channel before, but I gave my mom some lip liners like, like in this format to where it didn't look like a wooden pencil, but that you sharpen, you know, like this, like uh, I wanna say, ColourPop does this type of packaging. Kylie does this type of packaging. I was trying to think, like lots of brands do this, but I gave some to my mom and I had asked her later on, I was like, hey, what did you think about the lip liner? And she was like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It just didn't last very long. And I was like, 
did it faded off your lips quick and she was like no it, it didn't last long now mom if you're watching this <laughs> you know how funny that was she didn't know you sharpened it she threw it away and i was like you threw away the whole lip liner like you can sharpen it it doesn't look like you can but you sharpen it so now <laughs> she was like oh my gosh she's like i can't believe i threw that lip liner away i so love the way it looked on my lips but now when i see lip liners like this i always want to tell people like sharpen it sharpen it like you can sharpen it so this is a sharpenable lip liner from lunar beauty and I really like that color. This is a me color. Oh, okay. This is snack. Okay, so there's the lip liner in the shade snack. This might be my favorite shade that I've tried from the line so far. Um, I, I'm just, mm, mm, I like this shade. Let's do mystic for the lip though. So with these lip liners, the, the lipsticks, the packaging is very custom. You press the moon and out pops the lipstick. You see that? Look at this. It's so beautiful. It has this beautiful celestial embossing on the lipstick that goes like from top to bottom. So no matter how much you use it, you're going to see this embossing with the constellations, the planets. It's just so pretty so this shade is mystic okay so let's put this shade on again this is a creamy matte and i think that's a perfect word to describe this formula because it is matte but it doesn't feel drying and it it has lasted well on my lips the other day, I wore Tia all day, and after eating and drinking and everything, I still had my lipstick was pretty. Like, it was a little messy because, you know, I had been eating all day, but it was there. It was pretty. It didn't look patchy. It didn't look weird. Like, it looked so good. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my gloss from my collaboration with Unearthly. This is the shade Omen. It is a milky, clear gloss with a lot of sparkle to it. Lots of different color sparkle. The sparkle that's kind of like, it has a rainbow of sparkle, but I think the kind of like peachy, pinky, purpley comes through the most on this one, but it is a rainbow sparkle gloss. It has the beautiful beetles on it. And you're not going to feel any grittiness to this gloss. It feels very thin and smooth on the lips. It feels very nice. It has a very light, banana vanilla e scent mostly vanilla and I will say before I even created my own gloss with unearthly this isn't just me saying mine I do think unearthly glosses remind me a lot of Pat McGrath in that you can get that thin non-goopy non-sticky feeling you can get a lot of sparkle without the grittiness just a plus plus like I loved unearthly glosses before I got to create this and when Amanda was like hey Heather do you want to do a gloss I was like finally finally here's my chance to create a clear milky gloss with lots of sparkle that's immediately what I told her I was like this is what I want in your lip gloss formula and after several rounds of saying more sparkle more sparkle more sparkle we created the perfect gloss and the applicator has this beautiful pointed doe foot that makes it so easy to apply. It's just perfect, according to me. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. I am so happy we got to try so many new products today and some products that I've tried a few times, but I'm still kind of processing my thoughts on. I will say I don't really want to test the Jones Road powder again, but I'm going to because you can't just try something one time and review it, at least for me, unless it's like something crazy with the product then sometimes you can but I want to apply this with a brush and I want to see if maybe it was like packing the powder on that that wasn't like the best way to use it so I'm definitely going to try it again with a brush I may have been a little dramatic earlier I don't know 
but I'm gonna try it again. The Revlon foundation I'm really liking. I think it's really beautiful. The Give Beauty Duo, I think it's good, not amazing. I'll test it a couple more times and then I'll follow up and let y'all know. Of course, the Heather Austin Resurgence Collection with Another Earthly is amazing and I love it. This video is not about that. I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy y'all. The Lawless Blush I think is looking beautiful. The Half Magic Eye Paints seems like the same formula I know and love from them so I'm happy to have some more shades. The Doe Lashes I think look cute and just really light which I think will be super duper pretty. What else did we try new? The Lunar Beauty Lipstick and Lip liner really enjoying that as well this probably a new go-to like lip trio for me really into that setting spray i think is still looking beautiful i've been testing that thank y'all for being here with me i have fun just getting ready with y'all these types of videos to me are just fun and relaxing like we don't have anything specific we're trying to like do except just get ready together so I hope that even if you're not interested in any of the products that I talked about I hope you did enjoy watching this video hanging out with me I watch YouTube so 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 much I always feel like I'm hanging out with my friends so I hope that you had a great time hanging out with me please subscribe I have lots of videos coming I hope you're having an amazing day hit the like button if you liked it subscribe if you want to stick around and I'll see you very soon in a new video. Bye!